Today, I'm with Jenny Lee Saccone, and we're going to talk about how can we overcome procrastination. And this is a topic that I think all of us can uh, do better with. And first, let me just say hi to you, Jenny. Thank you for being here. Yeah, hi, George. I'm so honored. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So let me read yeah. your uh, bio so that the audience knows your background, and okay. then we'll get going on this. Yes. So uh, Jenny uh, is a soul, uh, joyful living and soul purpose coach and a holistic healer. And she works with spiritually oriented women and men who feel trapped in emotional and thought patterns that are holding them back in life. She helps them re remove the hidden blocks so that they can feel nurtured, re-energized, and able to take action and move forward. She has a 15-year experience in career consulting, and uh, she also has a unique approach for her four-step system that she has been developing for a decade. She's a member, a founding member of AEFTP and specializes in the field of fear, anxiety, self-worth, and procrastination. And she's written a book. And that's available on Amazon as well. AEFTP, can you tell us what that is? Association of EFT pra uh, Professional. Oh, okay, great, great, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's down. I, I was making that guess, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> and also, I want to mention that Jenny is also a member of my Master Heart uh, Business Mentoring Group. So, yes. all right, Jenny, um, this topic of procrastination is something I think many of us can relate to. And oh, maybe yeah. you can sh start to share with us what is your approach to help resolve procrastination okay sure uh, yeah I like to mention the first point when we go through procrastinations if we don't feel bad about that my personal opinion is that it's not procrastination so the procrastination is that something you want to do or you you want to stop doing but for some reason you just don't do it and you feel bad about that. So that's the thing. So part of you really wants to do it, but part of you doesn't want to do it. So yeah, actually I have some slides, you know, PowerPoint slides. I like to share a little bit. You feel it's yes, okay? Yes, wonderful, it please do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and while you're pulling that up, I, I like this definition. It's not that we're procrastinating just because we are relaxing or we're having fun. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's actually the resistance we meet when we're trying to do something we want to do. So thank you. Yes, for, yeah. yes. Yeah. So I just made several slides Great. and it's like this. So I call them internal tug of war. Yes. Oh, because, and do you, can you share the screen? Um, I'm not seeing your slides yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't okay. share. <laughs> yes. yes. I just opened on my own computer. Okay. Uh, share. Great. There we are. Okay. So do you see it now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. So yeah, this is called procrastination, but it happens in our mind. Especially, uh, I'm in your ma uh, master heart group and uh, we, a lot of us are like heart centered spiritual entrepreneurs yes. and we are, you know, like uh, feeling whatever. So, uh, we really at very deeper level at our soul level we are called to do so our soul is longing for something but then for some reason and many of the uh, the, the like uh, the internal thing we don't know they are there so the stress related issues show up in our life and then we only go to fix that problem physically but we don't know actually 95% of the cognition actually happens, you know, inside of us at subconscious level. They are not, we don't know they are there. So that's why internally it's like battle going on. So we want to do it. We don't want to do it. So for your program right now, you can see, I love it so much. Thank you, George and the community. Uh, right now, I feel like I'm really taking great progress. It's also because I myself went through this. I did years of internal clearing, removed the hidden blocks so that finally I feel like more aligned. Mm. So this is the topic. That's why I like to share here, you know, with all and uh, hopefully it can support you. Wonderful. 
And um, do you have uh, other slides to share with us? Yes, sure, sure. Yeah, because my job, I finally went through my personal transformational journey and came out. I used a tool to do the work to help people. So it's EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And when I, call, when I talk about emotional stuff, actually it scares and drives some people away because they don't want to talk about that. They don't even believe they are negative emotional people because we are positive, we are strong, we are headstrong especially. So, uh, but you know, let me share this chart. I really love this. All of our emotions actually are just natural feelings. They have no good, no bad, no right, no wrong. So we don't need to judge or self-judging, but that's what we do as adults, learning from the society and our life. And the emotionals, uh, emotions have actually only two, two kinds, pleasant and unpleasant, but different emotions do have dif uh, different emotional uh, energy level on the ladder. You can tell from this chart at the right bottom, fear, grief, depression, uh, powerlessness, victim, and also unworthiness. Actually, we all, you know, uh, in the society have part of unworthiness, self-worth issues, it's there. So when we went through these kind of emotions, I will share the next slides. Actually, we use, unconsciously, we use a lot of energy to suppress, hide, freeze, ignore, avoid, or even deny our emotions. But then if our emotions could be shifted because they never go away as energy, they only can be replaced by another state of energy, which is another layer of emotions. Yeah, so uh, then finally, if we do clearing, releasing and shifting, we will be shifted to a bit higher place. That's why after, grief or loss, people had to go through normal stage like grief, depression, and then sad, then anger. Prideness is on the top level of the unpleasant lower end of the emotion. So finally, if we just keep going, our emotions, our energies got shifted to the higher place, finally go to the hi uh, highest, it's joy, peace, and freedom. So that's why finally I am called and received this message to call my practice Joyful Journey, a journey to joyfulness. So this is another chart. And next one I like to share with you. When we, for some reason, unconsciously, we even don't know we are trapped in those kind of emotional state, empathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride, we use most of our energy to suppress. You can share, you can see here, empathy, grief, we use most, above 95% of energy to suppress. Instead, we only have zero to 10% of energy to take actions because it's out of the alignment. And the next yeah, that one makes here. Sense. Thank you. Yeah. And next one, when we shift more now to the higher place, which I personally experienced, and George, you, you and me, I'm here. <laughs> but back to those years when I went through my journey, at the point that I didn't have energy even to get out of the bed, I felt fatigue or whatever, because of that. So now I really feel the energy to take actions because I feel aligned. And especially marketing wise, I feel more aligned with your authentic business concept. Finally, I feel like totally aligned. But when I did follow those gurus, you know, <laughs> and I didn't feel aligned, it's not who I am. So that's why. So that's the energy. And also, I like to share this one. Am I going too fast? No, this is good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, because of that, you know, also from my own experience and from my client situation and experiences, 
So I found many of them, you know, like push and, uh, you know, I have to conquer the uncomfortable feeling, do it anyway, blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah, it's all good. But sometimes subconsciously, some energies are there. We just cannot do it. Logically, we know, we understand. But understanding doesn't make changes happen. We got to be aligned. And I like to show you, with, uh, show you this chart. This is, these are the, the three images, microscope images of three people. Their red blood cells taken from, you know, before EFT tapping, which is a tool I use to help clear and shift. So the left side, it's before tapping, which is before clearing those stuck energies. And the life, right side is after. So you can wow. see the huge difference. You know, the right side, finally we have the fluid. You know, internally our cells start to flow. So all in all, you know, what I like to mention is that the outside, external stagnancy in life actually happens internally first so when we do this clearing the energy and internally the traffic jam is open up and then we you know the sales the everything you know starts to flow so that's why i put the topic today as find your flow when you start to have the flow and all life areas will be open up. Your life starts to follow a uh, flow, and we will start to take actions. And also, next one, I, I will very quickly go through because I don't want to overwhelm anybody. But it's just basic concept because we human being are actually the physical body in our spiritual being. So mm -hmm. it it's energetic being at several different level, main different levels spiritually it's the external one and then next level emotionally and then mental and finally uh, uh spirit oh, i'm sorry I, I just go to the wrong order spiritual outside mental emotion and the physical so then you know when the energy image comes in it goes through our spine through the nerve energy and the message go to our body system and now through the meridian lines and point finally you know through nerve go to the organ our emotions stress or whatever they are emotions they happen in our right in the hemisphere so it's not in our logical head that's why a lot of strong people finally ended up with some issues, physical issues or whatever. It's just because these two brain, two hemisphere, they are disconnected. And then we keep going here to find external solutions, but actually these are all here. And we are in the wrong channel, cannot reach those energetic stones inside, cannot release it. So eventually if the traffic jam in, internally happen, for a long time and strong enough many years later, so it will cause different physical issues, organ issues, problem, or even disease. And this one is about emotional pain chart. If anywhere we feel the pains, they definitely are related to our emotions. It's just the extension of our feelings, unpleasant feelings. So this is, you know, basically the uh, basic concepts. I share with all yeah. here. Hope it makes sense. <laughs> it's fascinating. Um, I want to thank you so much for this. And uh, let me just stop the screen share for a moment. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about emotions and, and mind and the spirit body connection, but I haven't actually seen it so clearly laid out like you have in the slides. So I want to really thank you for that. I think it gives oh, us a picture you. of, okay, how these are connected. So back to this topic then of procrastination, how do we then move through that? Okay, yeah, thank you for mentioning this. Uh, through all these years work and my personal experiences with myself and with clients, I just feel like uh, several, I just put, uh, put together several points. The first one is really because 
when we are overwhelmed, you know, because life happens with all different issues. We have so many on our plates and so we are overwhelmed by so many things. And I heard so many people mention, I am scattered, I cannot focus. It's just because uh, we push everything in our head and all these thoughts and feelings or whatever, they are there. But every piece, they carries energy. It's like pull us into different directions. So that's why I feel like I heard many people, I feel I'm pulled into hundreds of directions and I'm stuck. I cannot just spinning in the same place. So the first thing is just calm up anxious mind. But how can we do this? Use my, in my work, use my tool is like, we give all the voices in our mind, you know, a voice to speak out. Just like we have a meeting with all these kids. Everybody wants to be heard. So we just let them all, all these self-talk, our feelings. We use the Meridian Points tapping method approach to just speak out very easy. Just listen and listen inward, you know, hear them, understand them. So let them speak, give them voice, give them space to come out. So then everybody got heard. They feel like calm down. And then this way we are aligned with the energy. Otherwise, if I'm sad, you said, how come, you know, you are adult, you are man, you are woman, you are adult. So, uh, but if you can say honey to a little kid, honey, I know it's very sad. It's okay, you can cry. If I were you, I were also this. So they feel heard. And then the next moment they feel like supported and loved, they go out. So for us adults dealing with the emotions, actually it's like that, especially I feel like for headstrong women, <laughs> smart, strong women and gentlemen, of course. <laughs> so they don't go to emotional level to deal with this. So that's the first step. And listen, hear them and let them out. So everybody got heard, we are aligned and then it's like cleared. We are, we are shifting to the neutral state. So now you have the space in your head to think again, to focus, concentrate, and you reserve your energy. Otherwise, all this energy just used to push everything away. So that's the thing. And also the next step I put there, it deal with the fear of confronting negative feelings. We judge ourselves, we judge our feelings as negative. But actually, I just shared, I personally finally don't like these words anymore. It's just unpleasant and unpleasant feelings because negative feelings are inevitable. Life happens, inevitable. So uh, we use this tool again, just admit the fear, speak it out. And amazingly, after several rounds of tapping and people feels like, okay, I feel it's fine. I'm not that scared. Like it's the danger is just next to me because fear is a feeling. Danger is the real situation. But when we are trapped, we feel we are in danger. Fight and flight. That's the thing. And then, you know, also because many people got trapped into those kind of pattern, it becomes the habit, chronic condition. They tried everything, try to figure it out, still cannot. They just try to fix, 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 and judge themselves, beat themselves. So from my heart, after all years, all these years work, I really love to point this out, like stop fixing. Really start to honor yourself. You know, honor your real feeling, your heart voices, and your real self-talk. Nothing is wrong. We just need to treat them friendly, nicely, like you are dealing your baby. And these feelings are your own children. It's just like that. Give a lot of love. This is wonderful. And Jenny, I want to make sure that people know how they can work with you. Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, you have shared su such profound and helpful um, perspective with us today. Uh, I, I hope this makes everybody watching this feel more accepting of their different parts. So 
when how how can people work with you? I know you do some work one to one, and you also have an upcoming、uh, course. So tell、yeah. us about these things. Oh, thank you, George, for that. And uh, uh, I you know George, you will、uh, maybe help me to put some links there so that yes, you know people yes, know how to contact、yes. with me. And I offer find your flow one on one, especially at the beginning. It's foundational program one on one find your flow releasing and shift sessions.、Uh, it's the four sessions. It's a package, foundational package, and、uh, in this program, I will have self、uh, self discover sheets to help you understand who you are, your life purpose, everything. And I will ask questions for the initial session to check where the energy is out of is misaligned. So, what is your real attention? Where you want to go? So then we find the gap. Start to release and shift. So that's one uh, uh, one on one, and I have my upcoming course. Uh, uh, will will start soon. The title is "Calming Your Anxious Mind" because that is really the first critical step. Where and how to start? Because many people still keeps grabbing everything externally. Get. Self crazy, so、uh, George, I、uh, I know you mentioned you will share the link. Yes, yes, I, this、done. is great. So、yeah. for those of you who are watching and would love to spend more time with Jenny,、uh, her supportive and you know、uh, healing presence, please consider either her one to one four session package, as she mentioned, or. The upcoming course, or, or try to do both.、Uh, the links will be on the、uh, notes of the video. Yeah, well. yeah.、So、be sure to take a look. Yeah, some、uh, Facebook page. If you can follow, maybe later on, I will sure, start、yeah. this year、mm-hmm. a tap into aligned action six months program. Or so, make sure you really finally are going. You know,、mm-hmm. move forward. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much. You know,、Good. all wonderful.、Mm-hmm. Jenny, thank you so much for your work and for sharing with us today. I really appreciate your presence and your perspective. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yes.、Jenny. Yeah.